Hey, what's up guys, LEGO Kid here, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at set number 40526, and also called the LEGO City Electric Scooter and Charging Dock Accessory Pack. Now, this set retails for about $13 in the US. This set also contains 50 pieces, along with three minifigures. So let's go ahead and start off the review, as always, by taking a closer look at the three minifigs. So first off, we have the female electric scooter mechanic. Now in this set, she comes with a new torso print as well as a new leg print where altogether she looks like a racer of some sort. But on the back of the body print, here's a um, the electric scooter charging symbol to kind of represent the brand she works for. She also has a reoccurring face print and a reoccurring hair and hat piece too. And in the set for the accessories, she has a dark blue toolbox, which sadly doesn't open up. And she also has a silver socket wrench. And next up, we have the Grandpa Civilian in the set. Now, he actually comes with a new face print as well, where uh, he's just smiling. And I wish that LEGO made it so that way you can swap out the helmet piece for some type of hair piece that would fit him and he also has a reoccurring torso print and leg printing as well so there's nothing much i have to say there and finally with the little girl here she has a somewhat new torso print in the set with the famous lego city sports brand printed on the front of the jacket she also has the purple mid-leg pieces so that way she can actually hang on to the electric scooter she also has two face prints where one is where she's smirking and the other one is where she is kind of winking a little bit. And she also has the purple helmet with the uh, hair and a hat combo piece. So yeah, that's basically it for all of the minifigures in this set. So let's go ahead and move on to the build. So the builds we have here are the two electric scooters and also the build for the charging dock. Now... Um, for the scooters here, the actual scooter piece colored in cyan was actually first introduced in last year's uh, LEGO Friends sets, I think. I could be wrong about that, but either way, um, you can have one minifigure standing on the scooter, and you can also angle the handlebars up and down, depending on the minifigure's height. And at the back, there's also this new one by one printed stud with the electric scooter plug-in symbol. Uh, this is also the same print used on the back torso print for the female mechanic in the set. And again, you get two of the same looking scooter builds in the set. So for the charging dock, it's a very basic and simple build, but still it's very great. So there's two different charging stations for the scooters. And you can actually make the scooters stay in place so that way you could pretend like they're charging. So at the bottom of the scooters here, there's a little kickstand molded onto the scooter piece. So basically you just attach the kickstand in between those studs right there. Sometimes the piece might pop off, but once you get the hang of it, it should stick right on like that. And at the top of the charging station, there's also a solar panel to kind of represent like um, all of the electric scooters in the city are kind of solar powered. And uh, you can twist the solar panel side to side or if you want to, you can angle it up and down. So yeah, those are pretty much all of the builds in this set. Um, even though they're pretty small and basic looking builds, they're still great nonetheless. So Anyways, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the package art, the instruction booklet, and my final thoughts. So for the box art here, there's nothing really much going on. It's basically the usual $13 box size for the accessory packs. And here's also the plastic container for all of the pieces. At the back, there's also a list of all of the minifigures at the top with the female mechanic being exclusive to this set. And as for the instruction booklet, there's no other advertisement for any other LEGO City sets whatnot inside. 
So overall, I'm definitely glad I got this LEGO City accessory pack. I kind of wanted to get some more of the same packs because I wanted to expand my LEGO City a little bit on these electric scooter builds along with the charging stations here. So that way I can show my LEGO City actually has like a present day technology feel to it. But either way, this is still a great accessory pack to get nonetheless. And yeah, anyways guys, those are my overall thoughts on the LEGO City charging station and electric scooter pack. Please make sure to subscribe, like the video, and also stay tuned for some more upcoming 2022 summer set reviews. So yeah, anyways guys, that is it for me for today, and I will see you all in the next video.